guess I'm probably gonna have to back. I probably should back from here, but I don't know. Okay guys, uh, we're on Boogertown Road and we've got a 26 foot box truck that made its way up this, I don't know what you want to call it, driveway? Driveway. And he's all the way at the end. I bet I still don't have enough room to turn around. Not. Unless this driveway here offers something that... Yeah, maybe. Looks like there's another spot up there, but this looks like a better turn around spot to me. But uh, you do whatever you think you need to do. Let's see what we got first. I guess if I got to back down, that's not my first time. I see he's been through their yard because I've seen his tire tracks on your side. Yeah. So this is technically called Floyd Way off of uh, Powder Mill Road. The power line's like right at our window. No, the power line's really low. It's funny because it doesn't look stuck. I was just thinking I'm glad it's a small truck. That's not a 26 foot, it's not a and it's not stuck. stuck. So there must be another U-Haul someplace oh, else. There's another one further up, probably. It's got a rope on it, and an O. Yeah, it's up there. I think we found the other one. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. Yeah, man. For once. <laughs> Better circuit. Well, I don't know. <laughs> all, I all right, honestly, is this the worst you've seen up here? Oh, no, Shoot. no, man. We've, uh. You should see this guy on YouTube. <laughs> oh, the dish size, oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. We, uh, we've had all kinds of crazy stuff. We gave it a college try, but that tree is really precarious. Yeah, that tree's going to be a bad deal, isn't it? Yes. Man, I don't really have much over here to contend with either no. and then it's going to be coming right at me Ooh, mm -hmm. that's the bad part when i pick up the back end it's gonna yeah. want to come at me what are the I odds of yeah that's that's probably a good thing huh? all right we're going we're going to go back forward um i'm guessing we got off track by backing in here anyway, right? Yeah, we tried to back down. It's all good. I think if I come and set up right behind you, I can catch that great big tree right there and we'll snatch block off of that and then just try to pull you back that direction. And if we have to lift the back, you said it's mostly empty? Yeah, it's mostly all empty. the weight is, we've probably got three or 400 pounds right up against the crow's okay. nest. Well, I mean, right up, if I've got a hold of the front and I'm pulling it that way, then if I have to, I can try to see if we can maneuver the back. But I'm hoping we can do it with one pull and get back on track. But, and and hey, yeah, I'll it's, volunteer this. Uh, we do have a vehicle up there that okay. you could strap to, and we can pull it that way. So, but you're the boss. It'll probably just pull you down. Okay. It's so heavy. Okay. Yeah, we've tried that in the past, and it's always like, it always drags my pool vehicle. Okay. <laughs> All right, that tree is going to be our best bet right there. I, I could probably even catch maybe that littler one on the outside might give us a better Vantage. Yeah, it might take us forward a little bit more than that other one because it it shouldn't be bad. It's not hung up, not bottomed out, right? Yeah, it was bottomed out. Of, <laughs> it was bottomed out in the front. Good. We at least got it out, mostly out of the ditch. Of the crazy stuff. Okay. Yeah, just making sure there wasn't like a leaf spring buried into that asphalt. That's the stuff that gives me problems. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get maneuvered around. Well, it's kind of bad. Our only option really is probably to go forward. My normal, if I pick, if I pick the back end up, it's gonna come at us. Yeah. You think you can swing around into this driveway here? It's really wide right here. I'm gonna try. You have to pull up quite a bit. Trying to go up, trying to go down? Um, I think they were trying to back down. Oh. And uh, I don't know how they didn't do it right there. If that's not them, that's somebody else on this side that oh. was probably about to be a bad story. Make sure it was all uphill. All uphill. Yeah, we love that. Okay. Let's see how much cable we got. I got this. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, it might take both of us. I don't know how much cable I want to. 
stretch. I might want to pull more chain. I wonder how much chain I got. How about that? Just that one big one. Let's see what that's going to look like. So to say, I thought there was a lot of cable on that. Yeah. Are you secure on that one? Yes. Are the keys in it? Keys are in it. Okay. There you go. I'll get I'll hold this while you put some tension. <laughs> if you want. Am I gonna grab the back here? No. Might not have to. Okay. Watch yourself. That needs to go on the top. I get it. Oh, you got it. This one's gonna cut through those two trees. It should push those trees that way. That's better than the alternative. It's okay. There's a log over there. Is that log stopping it? It'll climb. Well, that feels better. <laughs> that part is gonna drop. Okay. Okay, hold. Now we just gotta finish getting it the heck out of here. Yeah. That might be the tough part. That's, uh, that's included in the, in the piece. Oh yeah! <laughs> heck yeah. Good job, man. 
Man, that worked out pretty good. Trees, we gotta love trees. Yeah. yeah. That tree is gonna live another hundred years and never know, never know we were here. Yeah. yeah, I don't think it even knew we tugged on it, did it? At least I hope not. We just tied it ourselves. Well, now you know. Now you know. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I've done that before. I've got, I've gotten, a, I've gotten a couple of feet down the road, and they've called me. Hey, you need to come back. <laughs> I'll meet you in if you want to pull. Okay. As long as it'll wind for me. Yeah, I know. The nicest guy I've ever towed from being illegally parked. That's right. He's standing right there. And it was it was a day old. That's crazy. <laughs> Gatlinburg's tough. It really is. You either pay $30 or risk it somewhere you're not supposed to be. Yeah. Our other truck, we only keep about 125 foot, but I always keep extra chain and ropes and pulleys and... All right, guys, that's tough, man. You can see right here, this little off patch here, man, that could have ended very badly for somebody because that's, I mean, it don't look like it on camera, but that's probably a five foot drop. It'd be enough to turn over a, a U-Haul or anything. It looks like somebody was swinging up through here and uh, that's what gets a lot of people in trouble. You know, these, these little cut throughs and you know, that telephone pole is there, so that's gonna, deter a lot of people from swinging early but man it's it's tough but uh this is a super cool guy um if you hadn't caught it in the video i uh he, he was illegally parked in a brand spanking new raptor it was it was a day old and i towed it but this is the nicest guy uh, he didn't give me any troubles at all he uh, uh he actually called us again today for this recovery he said do you remember me and uh i mean how do you forget towing a brand spanking new raptor but well, he's he's good he's he's gonna get this thing right down here it won't be no big deal just trying to get around those those trees they're really low i would not want to uh try to deal with this stuff every day with these box trucks and deliveries and ups and fedex that would be crazy but it looks like he's got it so we're going to get out of here and uh let him turn around and we're off to uh we're off to the next one luzerne welcome back to the channel we are like i said luzerne uh ski mountain all the typical trouble areas got a call in for a lady that says she's in a four-cylinder car and it will not come out of the drive. Doesn't have enough power to uh, to get where she needs to go. So I'm not sure what we're up against or if we can even get to her. It looks like... Uh, oh my goodness. This is what we run into, guys. We got all these workers that do this stuff and and then they park on the road because there's no place in the driveway to park. And, and then we have a hard time. But anyway, she was just concerned about tearing up her car coming out of the driveway. I'm guessing the driveway maybe is her only, because everything it's all downhill to uh, Gatlinburg from up here on Luzerne. And it is crazy steep. There's no doubt about that. She wanted you to tow her all the way back to town, but I don't think there's any way you can get past that back there with a the car on the back. Doesn't look like it. I guess keep that in mind, guys. If you got a little four-cylinder car, you know, low gear's still gonna do you pretty good. Even if you do have a little four-cylinder, you just have to put it into that low gear and, and just go slow and easy. You, you know, you're not gonna be doing 20 and 30 mile an hour you know you're going to be like right now i'm doing 10. you just have to take it easy on your car and 
the bad thing about renting up here is, I, you know, it'd be several trips, obviously. If you're staying up here all week, you know, you've got multiple trips per day, depending on what your agenda is. So it can be very stressful on a car. Oh, well, <laughs> okay. That driveway is, yeah. You just want to front winch him out of there? Put her. Hello. Yeah, they're packing up to leave. They're not, they're not staying. They're done. Probably just winch it up here. Okay. Because I don't want my stuff sitting on the steep stuff while I'm trying to hook up either, so. Yeah. I'll probably do a snatch block low. Now, can we ride with y'all, or can we sit in the car? I, I guess you just need you just need to get out of here, right? We just need to get set to where my car, my car works. It just barely made it and I don't want to damage okay. it. So I just need y'all to get us to a spot where we're okay to drive. Well, from out of this driveway, it's pretty much downhill. So, I mean. But I know there's some ups. They're very slight. Like these, this would probably be the worst part of your of your drive. But I mean, I can, I can if try to. Could, if yeah, you could get she's, us, it's she's just like, like real, I, this is. This is yeah. the only yeah. means of transportation. Gotcha. Right? She's not really, she's, you know. Yeah, we can see if we can get it. Uh, they've got some stuff going on over here. I don't know if I can tell you past. They're what doing some construction. Just, just as long as it gets us to like flatland, yeah. then we'll be fine. Like once we get off of this mountain, like yeah. this car barely like, I mean, made it was it a standstill. It yeah. was smut like. Everything was, yeah. 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 No, nah, it wasn't. It was, yeah, well, I promise it really is. This driveway's. It's, it's pretty much downhill from this driveway. Well, I've been out twice since we got here, and they're like, it wasn't even making it up something like that. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. this four cylinder. Yeah, this is four cylinder. I don't know. So. Sounds yeah. like it maybe had. Uh, might be the smart plug issue. Uh, yeah, it may, sounds like maybe. something, because it yeah, should, so. you should be able to put it in low gear, and it would it climb any. It would me go in low gear. Yeah, I like you, it may be a transmission thing. Sounds like you may be in trouble already. <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm ready to get on yeah. flat land. Okay, so. well, let's see if we can get it out of this driveway first and foremost I guess and then how, how was it for you guys in that truck I, I mean I just use low gear I don't uh, you know it's, it's slow and easy it's it's a 10 mile an hour low gear uh -huh. and uh, you just you just take your time coming up through here a lot of folks you know they'll leave it in drive and it's it's pretty hard on stuff if you don't go to low and and just kind of kind of cruise these mountains will get you there yeah. they're hard on equipment they're hard on uh, a lot of things so it's all ready. okay if you want to snug us up i guess uh, it looks like they were doing some cabin maintenance on the way up there was a couple of big trucks that i had a really hard time getting around Okay, are the keys in it? No, they're right here. Okay. We're just gonna go neutral and see if we can get it to the top there where it's a little more manageable. Okay. Did you at least have a good time? No. No? We got here last night. Oh, there's no. Oh, no. Well, there's plenty of cool stuff to do. I'm sorry you guys are. Hopefully, we'll get this settled when you don't have fun. There you go. It's, it is hard to do that when you're worried about. Yeah. You should see this stuff when we get a snow. I bet. I bet. <laughs> I may need to boom down. 
probably have to maybe if I can get it setting up here then we'll move the truck because I'm guessing I don't know if we're going to go that way or back that way uh, they probably need to go that way I don't know that this is I don't, I don't know if it's a dead end or not I'll have to look yeah I'm not I don't remember guys thought I'd throw you a little bit of uh, downhill footage I know a lot of you guys like the uh, the views uh, from the top here and we'd like to be able to share those with you because wow it's an amazing day amazing day great weather perfect time to be in the mountains Yeah, a lot of these cabins are gonna have some crazy steep driveways, so just keep that in mind when you come up to, uh, to check into any of these places. They said the cabin company's gonna give them a different cabin in a lower elevation. That driveway right there is so steep. That driveway's a good one. That may be the only guardrail on Ski Mountain. <laughs> okay guys, welcome back to the channel, late night edition, here with me and Kristen. We got a, a phone call in, and guys, this is a common thing. This this gal needed to be on Mountain Way. No, Overlook Way. Okay, she got Mountain Overlook Way, and she needed to be on... Overlook Way. Overlook Way. I'm confused. Here's the name she's on, <laughs> Mountain Overlook Way and she's supposed to just be on Overlook Way in Sky Harbor. It's a common thing. It's like a lot of these roads are named like the exact same thing and they'll just either take out way and add court or <laughs> whatever it is. So it's, it's super confusing, but she's 30 minutes away from where she's supposed to be. And she says, I'm on this gravel road. I'm in the middle of the mountains. I have no idea. I got, I've got kids and uh, please come and help and I I guess she's off the road and hung up in some sort of she she said she was on a dirt road I'm wondering if this turns to dirt up here well YouTube we will find out that is one thing that I can't promise <laughs> and you know I still don't know that she was exactly 100% sure where she was yeah we might come to the end of this road and she might not even be here because she was she was saying she really didn't know she said she was eight miles from where she was supposed to be. Now that doesn't sound like much, but here in the mountains, eight miles is a lot, especially when you're going eight miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, it could be a... <laughs> when, that, when the last eight miles of your trip starts to look like this, yeah. you might want to throw up some red flags. <laughs> I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. She said, I don't care when you get here, just please come. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, she said. Of course, it's like there's nothing back here. Dark. Just it's kind of spooky. It's a little kooky. <laughs> oh, there she is. Is this the boonies? Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm only just a couple of minutes away from the roadway, so. Okay. Well, we found her. I'm so glad that we found her. I, 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 I guess concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned on why it won't move from there. I don't know. What right. have we got going so on? So it looks like she's got her front tire off the pavement. And she's trying to just go forward. I don't know. Ooh, this is going to be good. Hello. 
Well, I guess it's it's just a little bit stuck. It is, and I've got a, a, a car full of kids, and okay. none of them old enough to help me um, steer while I push. Um, it yeah. out of there. Yeah. Well, golly gee, you got yourself in a. I did, and the damn GPS took me to the completely wrong different way. So, so yeah, you're not even supposed to. You're no, supposed to be on the other end of the yeah, county so, over there. Yeah. yeah. Mm, so. Yeah, uh, just supposed to be a overlook way instead of mountain overlook way. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really sure what your plan is, but honestly, I think I think we should just back up. Back her up and turn that way because right here it's steep, mm -hmm. but over here it's not. I guess it's running. The keys are in it. It's just oh, no, I believe it. I got the emergency brake on. I mean, if okay. You get try it, you can. Let's see what we got going here. How are you kids? Good. All right. Well, let's. All right, let's see if we can get you guys out of this mess. How about that? Yeah. Our dad's all the way back in North Carolina. All the way in North Carolina? Yeah. Well, shoot far. Which way are we going to go? We got to go back. Back. Well, let's see if we can get... You got, I got three of you in here? Yeah. You guys want some candy? Sure. I've got candy and, and toys. I'll bring you back some. Some treats? Sure. I, they said yes, so I'm going to bring back treats. <laughs> the cool bag. The cool bag. Lots of the smiling bag. These are all wrapped up, right? Yes. Are they all the same? Yes. So I won't make anybody mad? Well, they're, so similar. they're similar. Okay, we got all kinds of goodies in that one. And all kinds of goodies in that one. And all kinds of goodies in that one. It's cool. I think there's stickers and tow trucks and suckers and cool. there's all kinds of stuff in there. Um, all right, I think what I'm going to do is come up here and turn around and head back that way too. And then maybe you can follow okay. after I get I think I've got enough room to get the tow truck turned around okay. Excellent. Is she ready? Uh, uh, yeah, I didn't it smell like pancakes right I don't I can't very well charge this lady. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I got over here and drove her car. Anyway, guys, um, you know, this is probably one of those, I'll just uh, say thank you uh, for thinking about us and calling us for our service. This one's gonna be on the house tonight, but we did get the, we, we got the candy passed out. So YouTube, you did your job. Awesome. Thank you to the YouTube friends and family those kids were super excited about that and uh she'll be she'll be excited saying but I, I mean you know i it does take time for us to come over here and do this stuff and and uh fuel and expenses and tow trucks but still yet yeah, i came over here and <laughs> that's all we did was back her up and get her going in the in the right direction and she just didn't have any more eyeballs uh for the situation so we we're able to get her turned around and, and she'll get eight miles over here to the uh, spot she's supposed to be in and and that'll be that that will be that so stick around stay tuned more adventures coming your way okay guys all in a night of fun we just left the kids and uh grandma i guess getting her unstuck now we're over here on sky harbor got an f-250 i think that's what she said got a big truck that decided to take a corner too sharp she says she's taking all the blame but I bet I get over here and the guy is driving she did not know exactly where she was she said here's the address but we're a turn before it or after it or something well it's pretty crazy over here for any big truck trying to turn around it looks bad I seen taillights oh, no. <laughs> 
You can tell it's down there. Oh, oh, it's bad. She, it's not her back tire. It's the whole thing. It's the front and the back tire. I don't think you're gonna be able to drive this one out. Uh, we might not be able to pull this one out. I have to go get Big Red. It's so steep. It's stupid steep. It looks kind of bad. Yeah, luckily we uh, were able to hold it right there. So the rear driver's side tire is off. Everything else is on a surface. Okay. Um, but. It looks deep. <sighs> Deeper than I like it to be. We're sitting right on the. Uh, right in the, in the but, diff. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Like my son even tried to stand on the back end. He's 300 and some on pounds and he couldn't get it to lift up. And I was like, forget it. I'm going to call a wrecker. I got roadside service. Yeah. I'm worried about it. That's what tow truck drivers are for um goodness yeah yeah well coming down that hill yeah and i didn't want to i didn't know if there was a drop off here yeah it's hard to see off the end of your hood yeah. and the drop off was over here yeah i get that a lot so, i promise these big trucks are yeah they're I mean, hard they're not well it'd be, yeah it'd be, it, it would have been better if the four-wheel drive linkage was hooked up <laughs> but i was like i don't need it it's not winter yet i end up putting some of those snow plow markers on the front of my bumper so i can kind of guide myself <laughs> Uh, it's, it gets well, tough. Some markers along here would be great. You know, that would work too, wouldn't it? Yeah, we, we tell a lot of folks that. We're like, you know, it's that would be good. But that's uh, why I call the professionals. Well, hopefully we can get that. She's heavy. That's the only bad thing. Yeah. She's heavy. That's why I made sure to let you know what I had. Just hang on to that brake. Keep your foot on the brake. Okay. Yeah, I'll come down here and, and grab okay, the. Okay, well, there's a fantastic tree. That is there. a great tree. Yeah, I love that tree. Going, wow, I wish I had a lamp. I thought it was a telephone yeah. pole at first. Yeah. So, no, but it's a nice tree. It's so amazing. That is, yeah. yeah, probably the straightest tree I've seen in a while. Hey. Okay, if I can. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does which one's in his eye? All of them? I think all of them, yeah. I think it's the upper one, but whatever. Let me see if I can get that upper one out of his eyeball. Huh? There we go. Yeah. We'll turn it back on when we're ready to work. The heck, I think that one's. That one's probably better. Okay. I'll yeah, get the truck if you want to. Yeah, I'm just going to go for that. Strap. Uh, one blue strap. I'm thinking I still might go back there to that tree to get his back end pulled down. I'm okay with that. I'd rather not turn their truck over tonight. <laughs> Just the one? Well, if we if we get that one, we need a snatch block and. Uh, the other straps too, right? Oh, the other straps are on the other side, aren't they? Probably frame because that'll bring it down the fastest. The suspension will give if we don't. Something back there, probably. Got a tow hitch. Yeah, but this frame rail will give me a lot better. Okay. 
It'll pull me down quicker. Hopefully your lights are trying. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we agree with no way to do it. No, yet. Yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> Nothing yet. I need one more snatch block. No, you're fine. You're fine. Absolutely. Let me see here. Yes. Yes. Just watch it right into the track. Okay. Yes. Give me a second. I'll go behind the watch. Okay. That's a deep creek. Yeah, I can, I can try. It's just gonna, yeah. If I had a little more slide on that side, it'd be a lot better for me. We got a wheel in the air over there, so. No. What we'll do is turn hard to me, all the way left, as far as you can. There you go. Now, it's in park, right? Yep. Let's go, let's go to neutral. Make sure your foot's still on the brake. Yep. And it'll probably go clang. Now, just kind of ease off the brake just a little bit, see if it'll come forward any. It did just a little bit. Just a little bit of resistance there. I'm gonna pull it that way. <laughs> okay, now ease off the brake for me and see if it'll come forward some more. There we go. Keep coming. Keep coming. All right. You're good, you're good. I've got you in the air over there, so. Okay, come forward for me. Forward for me. You're off the break, okay.
Okay, now I want you to put it into drive. And ever so slowly, come forward for me. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Perfect. You're perfect. You did good. If you want to go back into park, you can get out now hey, and get those lights out of your eyes. Tire's not 100% secure over here. I've still got a I've still got a hook up front. There you go. You did good, brother. You did good. <laughs> no, you did really good. We're still kind of in the danger zone a little bit, but it's mostly not going to fall down in that huge, huge ravine. We're going to get it picked up and uh, try to go backwards now. If we can go into reverse, I think we'll be in good shape. Get this stuff get the niche. Uh, let's see if we can get it into a better spot before we totally give up. I guess if you don't watch me wiggle, maybe I don't know because it's not four wheel drive. So, so I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need everything I got probably. Okay, no, just watch me first. <laughs> I'm thinking we should just pick up and let them come all the way forward. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to correct it. I might be able to correct it. I, yeah, I think if you went forward just a little bit more. I think I could go straight back. I bet you could. If you turn the wheel hard. Straight back. Roll this coaster so I can... Yeah, I got all kinds of room. <laughs> it's still shiny side up, so we're yes. we're doing pretty good. That was the important part, shiny side up. <laughs> My legs. No, we just got we we uh, we were good. <laughs> YouTube, oh my goodness, in the name of a 2500 Ram pickup. I was definitely uh, kind of outmatched. I was in the wrong truck, and uh, I'm always outmatched when I'm <laughs> when I'm facing uphill to begin with. That's that's never that's that's almost uh, getting the party started before I get started. And uh, but we made it happen. We had a, a low pull on that frame. Had a really nice tree on the backside. Um, got that thing uh, sucked in a little bit and leveled out and pulled that low side up on that front end up there what i was a little leery about were um were the uh the tow hooks up there uh they're always pretty beefy especially on the on the rams they're they're pretty good the 2500's got a really nice thick tow hook but in the back of your mind you're always thinking is that really a nice tow hook is it really going to hold because if it doesn't 
I've got a, I mean, that's everything leveling that truck out. So if that thing gives up on me, then that truck is, is, is going to be uh, back down real quick. I mean, I've got a hold of the backside, so we're not going anywhere, but boy, it's, it's really going to let you know. It's going to wake you up. And you know, that was a 20 year old truck from Illinois. So there was quite a bit of rust underneath. Mm -hmm. That's the stuff that I worry about. So we just try to just get it up to where it's level. I'm not really doing any pulling on it. I just get it up to where it's level and, uh, and then just let the truck do its thing by just simply driving forward. So all I'm doing is leveling the situation out and just using it to coast forward. Not really any big hard pulls on it because obviously I couldn't. If I was to try to do a hard pull, I, it would have just, my truck would have been up in the air. So, uh, but that worked out great. We had, uh, we had some great people and they're, mm, what'd you say, nine hours, 14 hours in the car. Yes, they and, were done. Uh, they were done with being in the car. So hopefully they get to enjoy the rest of their vacation and uh, during the daylight hours know what they're up against or were up against. Uh, but we're headed back down this crazy steep. Doesn't look like anything on the camera, but I'm standing on the dash right now. <laughs> and we are almost to the bottom of Sky Harbor. I'll probably head on back down and uh, hit the spur. Uh, I'm gonna go right at the spur that'll take me back into Pigeon Forge and uh, probably better get some fuel before we uh, start up another party. So stick around, stay tuned, got more coming your way.